Hi there, welcome back to Really Me TV. I'm back with lots of newness this week in makeup, skincare, hair care, and a bit of home fragrance as well. Brands include Sisley Paris, Elf Cosmetics, Huda Beauty, Aveda, I've got some newness which is really great, Paula's Choice, Benefit, and Benefit are doing skincare crazy. So if you're interested in any of that, keep watching. By the way, Happy International Women's Day, which I think by the time this goes live, it will be the actual day. And if not, it's gonna be kind of around the same kind of time. So happy International Women's Day. Just one quick note. I went to a dinner with Elizabeth Arden last week and they are supporting the Princess Trust who are doing Change a Girl's Life campaign. And so five pounds from the sale of every Elizabeth Arden eight hour cream will go to the Princess Trust. Anyway, I'm getting into the video now. So before I get on to the new blush shades from Merit and the new Huda Beauty liners, which are amazing, I just wanted to quickly highlight this new launch from Aveda, which is from their Botanical Repair range, which I love. It's basically their version of like Olaplex bond building. So it's absolutely brilliant range. Um, I have written a blog post about the whole collection before, which I'll link in the description for you. But this is a new addition to the collection. Now this is a styling cream, bond building styling cream. What I love about this, it's like a leave-in conditioner meets a kind of style holding product. So I actually got to try this out at there. They'd had this at the um, Scalp Solutions event the other week, but Michael Ellenden, who did my hair, used this on my damp hair before he styled it. And it just gives the most lovely shape and hold to hair, as well as that bond building conditioning, leaving conditioner element. So I just wanted to give that a quick shout out. It's really nice. I'll pop a link to where you can shop this as well. But as I said, I do have a review on the full collection, which you can check out. Also really quickly, Elemental Herbology have launched a new reed diffuser. This is called Soothe. And I'm telling you about it because it's so, calming and relaxing. I think loads of people are feeling a bit overwhelmed at the moment and this is a really soothing, relaxing scent. It's perfect for your living room or your bedroom. I'm gonna have this in my bedroom because I do struggle with going to sleep and it's got loads of kind of those aromatics that help you have a really restful, peaceful night's sleep. And it also looks really beautiful. The notes in here, bergamot, bitter orange and red fruits, the top note, jasmine, neroli and rose in the middle note and sandalwood, moss and amber in the base. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's 44 pounds and it really does just bring you that sort of feeling of calm and relaxation, which is hard to get sometimes. That's that. Okay, so before I get onto the makeup, I just wanna run through a few skincare bits for you. Sisley Paris, they have upgraded their ecological compound, which is an absolute icon. It launched in 1980. The formula's never changed. It's a really great all-rounder moisturizer, very barrier building, and they've actually intensified a lot of the barrier building, microbiome balancing ingredients in here. So this is now uh, called Ecological Compound Advanced Formula, and they've added two new ingredients and also increased the amount of Centella Asiatica in there. So it's more calming. The other ingredients are microbiome balancing, which is something that lots of people talk about all the time. It's cl the closest it can be to the skin's pH, so that is great. And the two new ingredients are burdock and meadowsweet extract. This is a brilliant moisturizer. It's the kind of one you can slip into any skincare routine. It's got the most amazing scent as well. It's very calming on the senses. So that is new and really good. It's one of those ones that everyone will get on with. Apparently one of these sells every five seconds of the original formula. So they're building on success. And if you've used the old formula, this is a lot lighter and it has a bit more of a matte feel on the skin and tests have shown that the stratum corneum actually increases in thickness by 9% in one week of use with this. And also it reduces the levels of bad bacteria on the skin by 37% within four weeks. So it's got some really good tests behind it, but that's the new ecological compound advanced formula. On the other scale of things in terms of budgets, the ELF Skin Woe Glow, which is their SPF 30 Sun Protection and Primer. It's really nice, it's slightly tinted, so it blends into the skin really, really easily and it gives the most beautiful glow and makeup goes on top really nicely. And of course, it's got the SPF 30, which I love. So if you like something quite glowy with Earth SPF 30 protection, that's a great one to try. And then a real quick look at the new 
benefit skincare i mean i never think of benefit for skincare in fact i think for brows i think mascara my first ever benefit product was actually a blue tinted lip gloss which made your teeth look white which they discontinued but it was amazing i wish they'd bring it back anyway we have now a whole professional skincare range so professional is one of benefits leading best-selling franchises within their brand it's all primer based and minimizing pores and this now they've launched is like pore clearing skincare so within here we have this is the good cleanup pore purifying foaming cleanser i've tried this it's really nice it's not too stripping it just feels like you're really cleaning your skin which i love it's a good second cleanse or a morning cleanse there's also this um speedy smooth which is a quick smoothing pore mask it's like a clay mask you put it on it dries within three minutes and you wipe it off so it's a nice express treatment they also have a uh, tightened tone this is a pore refining aha and pha toning foam which is interesting i haven't actually tried this but so that's like a toner that comes out as a foam and you just put on that one to clean skin once you've cleansed which is pretty interesting it's AHAs and PHA. There's also a pore clearing makeup removing cleansing oil, which is interesting. Haven't tried that. And then a deep retreat pore cleansing mask. So that's a more sort of intense treatment than the Express one. Let's have a little look at that. I love the colour of that. So I've not tried that yet. And getting it everywhere. <laughs> And then this one is called Smooth Sip, which is a lightweight smoothing moisturiser for pores. Interesting. Right, let's look at that. So that looks like a light gel type moisturiser. Yeah, it's quite bouncy actually and jellyfied. Yeah, actually feels rather nice. I'll just pop that on top of that foaming toner. So there you go. So that's uh, Benefit's new skincare. I'd be interested to know what you think about that. Um, and then kind of the opposite end of the scale from Paula's Choice we've got a whole calming range it's called the new calm collection we've got an ultra gentle cleanser which will be perfect for all sensitive skin types nourishing milky toner that's that sounds really nice one percent BHA sensitive skin exfoliant so obviously Paula's Choice is famous for their two percent BHA liquid exfoliant this is a 1%, so it's formulated for sensitive skin in the Calm collection. I'll be interested to try that. There's also a repairing serum and then two types of moisturiser, a light and a richer one. They're both called Rescue and Repair. This is the weightless moisturiser and this is the intensive moisturiser. I actually tried the intensive one and it's lovely. So there you go, that's that. that that's all the skincare. Right. So let me just finish off with makeup. Merit launched four new shades of their blush i've got the whole collection of blush shades swatched on the blog but i'm just in the process of adding these in so they will be there by the time this video is live so make sure you check out that in the description box for swatches of all the new shades i'll just show you the new shades quickly we've got stockholm which i've got now which is really nice baby pink love that then we have fox which is a really nice kind of a torpy shade like a really warm toned taup very nice then we have persimmon which is a nice sort of like orangey ready shade can't wait to try that make sure you check out the swatches on the blog and then we have apre which is like a soft berry tone and i can say that this is the most long lasting one out of the new shades because i swatched them all and that one was the hardest to get off when i was trying to remove the swatches so there then make sure you check out the blog post they're out now I love these blushes i think they might be my favorite from all of Merit's things but I don't know because it's all really nice and then talking of swatches that are hard to remove uh, I don't know if you can see that <laughs> I um I've been testing the Huda Beauty new creamy coal liners their 24 hour liners really really nice I'm actually wearing the brown at the moment I love a brown eyeliner they are really 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 hard to remove. can you see that there, look basically you just can't you can't wipe it off. <laughs> and that's been on my arm all day because I did my swatches this morning and it's now the evening. Um, yeah, as I said, I'm wearing the brown, but there's a black. The brown is called Very Brown and the black is called Very Vanta. Um, I'm going to pop a link to the review that I'm working on in the description box for you, but they're really lovely. They draw on so nicely. I'll just show you quickly. And you do have a bit of time to 
uh, blend them out so you can got a bit of playtime and then they set so that would be the most beautiful like easy smoky eye um, and the black is very black I'll just show you that really nice so they're the Huda Beauty liners you can get those at Cult Beauty um, I'll pop a link to where you can pick them up but make sure you check out the post as well I'll give you the proper lowdown in my review and that's everything for this week thanks so much for watching let me know if you've got any questions at all and I shall see you next time bye